So in C++ and most programming languages, you could declare a variable this way. So let's say this is a distance. We are representing distance in kilometers. And then we can declare another variable. Let's say it's a time. So this is two. Uh, but this variable is in hours. Not minutes, not seconds, it's in hours. So when we declare another variable to represent a velocity, so we can divide distance by time. And this should be, since this is kilometer, this is hours, so this would be in kilometers per hours. Uh, the thing is, it's our responsibility as developers to keep track of the types, to keep track of the scales, to keep track of what is time, what is velocity, uh, what are the units, are they kilometers, are they miles, are they meters. So for example, uh, if you want to have, if you want to increase this distance, so we have uh, another distance like that, but this distance is in, uh, let's say it's in meters. If we were to uh, increase the distance by this distance but this much we need to do the proper conversions if you don't do the conversion the compiler will not stop you and will let you do this mistake so it's your responsibility to keep track of the conversions to keep track of the types so in this case we need to divide it by 1000 also physically it does not make sense to uh, let's say to add time to distance so if you do this from the compiler's perspective, these are just variables. You can add a variable to another variable and that's totally fine. So it will never stop you from adding distance to time or comparing velocity to time or anything like this. However, if we were to use this library, so I'm going to include frogs and using namespace frogs. Now everything will be different. So I'm going to declare a distance. I'm going to say this distance is in kilometers. And then I'm going to declare the time and this time is two hours. And then I'm going to declare a variable. Let's say for velocity, I would divide distance by time and that should make it a velocity. So now let's print some, some of these variables. Now let's run this program. And as we can see, it's already embedded in the type. This type is distances and it's printed here in meters. This type is a time and this type is a velocity. And here it's represented in meters per second. Also, if we uh, try to increment, okay, another distance to this distance. So let's say distance two equals to uh, 40,000 meters. Now we can increment uh, distance by distance 2 and then we can print the new distance and we can see that the new distance has been converted properly so uh, here it was we, we added 40 thousand meters and this was already in meters here so it was a hundred thousand meters so everything is converted properly you can either use meters you can use let's say uh, feet you can use inches, everything will be converted properly as long as you use this suffix. You can also uh, make sure that the correct types are being used. So uh, let's say if we try to increment D by V, this will be an error. You see that there is no overloaded uh, plus equal operator because you cannot add a velocity to a distance. You can add a distance to a distance but not a velocity to a distance. So this library you can find in this link below. You need to go to frogslib.com and you can download this library. It's open source and uh, it's free. So you can download it and uh, you can also contribute if you want. It's still in the very beginning. So thanks for watching and see you next time.